December in Michigan can be a cold and cloudy time of year, even with the holidays approaching. And for 32-year-old line cook Jake, tonight is going to be one of the darkest of his life for a few different reasons. His chat with a Genesee County Sheriff's Office ghost decoy posing as a 15-year-old starts on the website, Skip the Games. The decoy asks him what he's looking for, oral or vaginal sex. He says, LOL, both maybe. The decoy asks Jake if he's the police and then is upfront about being 15. He then asks her if she's the police and to send a nude photo to which the decoy says no. He later says he's on his way, but he has to stop at an ATM first. My room's upstairs. Um, if you want to wait here for a minute, I just got to go to the bathroom and grab some toys real fast. A sheriff's deputy posing as the decoy does her best to get 32-year-old Jake to come into the kitchen. You can stay in here then. Like, so stay in here doesn't matter. Let's shut the door so that all the heat doesn't get out. How am I freaking? Wait, don't leave. Something sets him off and he tries to flee. What he wasn't expecting next was the ghost team waiting to bring him back in. Yep. No, sir. You got nothing that's going to hurt us, do you, Jake? No, okay. Just relax right there. Jake. Keep your hands right there for you. Don't keep your hands right up. Yep, just like that. Because he tried to make a run for it, the ghost team pats him down first to make sure he didn't have any weapons. While they empty his pockets, I squeeze my way in. I don't think he's noticed me just yet. Any money on your wallet, anything? Uh, nope. I'm sorry, is it my pocket? I'm trying to see right there in this wall. What's your name? Jake. Jake. How old are you, Jake? Uh, 32. What he's about to tell me surprises even me. In what brought you to this house tonight? Uh, uh, my mom passed away today, so I honestly can't tell you what I'm doing. I'm sorry about your mom. That's okay. horrible. How did she pass? COVID. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. And what does that sticker mean, healthy visitor? That I don't have COVID to be in the hospital. Be in the hospital. What was your plan here tonight? Uh, there really was no plan. Like I said, I, I don't even know what I'm doing, man. Well, again, uh, my heart goes out to you for losing your mother. That's a horrible situation, but... Yeah. Well, what he's going through pulls at your heartstrings. I can't lose sight of the fact that he came here to have sex with a 15-year-old girl. Do you really think that justifies trying to have sex with a... Underage girl? Uh, not at all, no. Yeah. The chat was pretty graphic. Okay. What you wanted to do with this 15 year old. Okay. Uh, this was an underage girl you thought you were meeting here, right? Uh, the chat was pretty clear. Yeah, who's the I'm same? just telling you. Yeah. Okay, so you thought you were meeting an underage girl here. We've seen know. the chat. We've I seen the chat. Sure. Are you, are you, it's hard to say, like, is she underage, is she not? I didn't know, I thought the chat was very weird in a sense, yeah. So Why I'm was just, it weird in a sense? Uh, she was very direct in, like, what she was doing, and then she said she was doing it for a long time. And I was just thinking, like, well, what's a long time? Why like, even she do at, it? Like, 10 years old? I don't know. Honestly, I came here. And I was pretty much just going to cry, and uh, I don't know, I don't, I don't think I would have went through with anything personally, but... But you came here. Yeah, and then I didn't want to do it. What, what, what spooked you at the door there? I just, like, it, I just didn't want to anymore. You started like, conscience? Or... Yeah, pretty much. I was like, I, I can't do this. But you showed up. I tried out, yeah. Chad is Chad, but showing up is showing up. Okay. And you showed up. I uh, So what should happen? Whatever's going to happen, I guess. Yeah, I'll take the punishment. 
Do you think you would have done this had it not been for the death of your mother? Mm. Hard to say. Hard to say. Have you ever done this before? No. You've never met somebody online? No. Who was at rage for a hookup? No. Yeah. No. So just tonight, all of a sudden this started? It was like, yeah. Uh, it was like on my way up to go see my mom. So you I were... found her on like some website and then we started talking. What was the site that you were on? Uh, skip. Skip the games? Yeah. yeah. And do you go on that site regularly? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And why did you go on there tonight? Uh, I think I... It's just like a way to get out of my head. But then like... When How I, did you find out about Skip the Games? You can just Google it. <laughs> so you Googled the uh, sites for hookups? Yeah. yeah. And, and I that's was like the did. first one, yeah. And you just decided tonight? Um, yeah, I, well, I decided I was like gonna do it and then all this shit happened. And then so now on my way back home, I was like, F it. And then I was sitting in my car for a minute and I was like, I don't wanna do this. But then I saw her like walking while she was like coming out and shit. So like I had this, this like feeling and I was just like, I have, got to get out of here. But you came in. Did I? I think yeah, I put my foot in the door, yeah. Well, there's something you need to know, and that is that I'm Chris Hansen. Okay. And we do stories, investigations on adults who try to meet underage kids. Oh, I've heard about it. Is there anything else you want people to know? No. Okay. Some guys are here with the uh, Genesee County Sheriff's Department. They'd like to talk to you. Okay. okay. Stand up from the book. Jake is cooperative with the ghost team while they put him in cuffs and take him down to the sheriff's office for further questioning. While our sympathies go out to Jake and his family for the loss of his mother, he still has to face the consequences of what he did. Jake pleaded guilty to accosting a child for immoral purposes and using a computer and internet to communicate with another to commit a crime. He was sentenced to two days in jail and 60 months of probation. Not only are the potential child predators captured and exposed in the ghost operations, the Genesee County Sheriff Chris Swanson also has to make sure every case can be successfully prosecuted. One of the issues some of these guys raise is that, well, you have to be 18 or 19 to get into the social media chat platform to begin with. So the rest of it is just play acting and and pretending to be 15. Do you buy any of that? Now, I don't buy it because we have a, uh, a very clear pattern, our chatters do, to get the age out there. And they have every opportunity to say, no, that's, that's just not me. That's why it's so important for people to watch what we're doing right now with you, because they need to have these talks, these conversations, so they know going into it how to handle. And uh, they're not caught off guard, but that has not been a successful defense. I'm Chris Hansen, and this is a special edition of Takedown. As you know, we've been working undercover with Polk County, Florida, Sheriff Grady Judd and his team exposing men trying to meet children for sex in a huge sting operation. But while that was going on, there was also a parallel investigation involving human trafficking and prostitution. It is shocking to see who surfaced in that investigation. One of the men, a deputy police chief from a town outside Atlanta, Georgia. We have it all with exclusive video provided by the Sheriff's Department. You'll be shocked at what you see. Cold hard seltzers and cold hard cash is all it took for a Georgia deputy police chief to find himself behind the cold bars of a jail cell. This fall, the Polk County, Florida Sheriff's Office conducted a series of sting operations one to catch child predators that you'll see on my series Takedown with Chris Hansen, the other to combat human trafficking and prostitution. 
Sheriff Grady Judd has organized and spearheaded some of the most successful undercover operations in the country. And this one grabbed national attention. As you know, we seek out the victims of human trafficking. And in order to do that, you do prostitution stings. Well, when you do these operations, as this one was hugely successful, we'll talk about Friday, you arrest Johns who are seeking out prostitutes as well. Well, let me introduce you to what I consider a high profile arrest. This is Deputy Chief Jason DePrima of the Cartersville Police Department. Jason DePrima, now a former Deputy Police Chief, was in Orlando from Georgia for a polygraph conference, of all things, with other law enforcement professionals when he decided to seek out a prostitute for an evening of fun. What he got instead was arrested. The details of the events that transpired had people around the country both shocked and stunned. Does it ever shock you as to who shows up? To me, it was the most embarrassing thing. He showed up driving a government car. His department vehicle. His government, you're right. That he drove up here drove. from Georgia. Well, the story is even better than that. He was going to a polygraphist association meeting, and he comes over to our undercover operation not only in a government car, in an undercover car, but he stops at the store and he gets two Bud Lights and some White Claw for what he thinks is the lady of the evening. So he's, got, he's transporting this alcohol in the government car that ostensibly he's going to consume with this lady. And after he violates the law, then he's going to get back in his government car after drinking and drive back to Orlando until we arrest him. Before his arrest, DePrima solicited the undercover for sex, said he wanted to hang out and watch football. But first, he had to stop off for supplies, texting the decoy, if you're legit as you seem, we will have fun. If not, I'm riding around with a case of white fog feeling girly. Takedown has exclusively obtained the footage of DePrima's interactions with the undercover decoy and his arrest. It all went down just before midnight on September 1st. The decoy meets him at the door. So I got robbed two nights ago. Mm -hmm. So now I want me to go pick up an American Express card. Mm -hmm. I said, no, I'm better. Mm -hmm. And then they said, well, take a picture up, take it out, make sure you really got it. Mm -hmm. Okay? I'm thinking, well, how that? So I take a picture of it. And five minutes later, that two and a half gone. <laughs> Ironically, and almost unbelievably, listen to this, De Prima was robbed by a prostitute the night before. And even that didn't stop him from trying again. You got my cash? Yes, I got your cash. Uh, can I zell you or memo you 20? Because I spent 20 at the store. Okay. Check that should be 180. The decoy then asks what he'd like to do for the $180. Polk County Sheriff's Office deputies listen in from the next room. You normally want to start with or what? Um, you know, I don't, I'm not a Okay. Oh, you don't like I ain't saying I don't like it, but... Okay. What the is this? Okay. Um, it's like a Mexican thing. Yeah. DePrima takes his shoes off to get comfy. As the decoy excuses herself, the deputies swoop in for the arrest. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hands up. Hands up. Whoa, dude. For what? We're going to roll it up with you, right, bud? Please, please don't do this. Jason DePrima is taken down to the Polk County Sheriff's Office, where he'll be on the other side of a jail cell. Did you give him a polygraph? We asked him if he could tell the difference in a truth and a lie but being a, a polygraphist because he started lying to us and it's like would you like to take a polygraph i don't think he thought that was funny well I, who does that you're a deputy chief at a mid-sized police department very professional police department in a suburb of atlanta you're on department business right learning how to be a better polygrapher that's right in a government car 
and you say, oh, well, I'll just get online and find myself a prostitute, sure. buy some beer and white claws and head on over and have sex with her, pay her money. Absolutely. Who does that? An ex-deputy police chief now. But who can, who can imagine that? I mean, who can imagine? The chief couldn't imagine it. The de deputy chief's wife couldn't imagine it. The, his kids couldn't imagine it. The community couldn't imagine it. What is wrong with him? But you see, he was away from home. He thought he was hidden. He thought he was protected. He thought, nobody knows me here. Polk County's got to be safe. Newsflash. You arrived in Polk County and you left in handcuffs. After spending almost two days in the Polk County Jail and posting a $500 bond, Jason DePrima has since resigned from the Cartersville, Georgia Police Department, but not before being charged with soliciting for prostitution. He's pleaded not guilty and has requested a jury trial. He comes from a nice sized police agency where he's seen a, as an up and comer. He's been to the FBI National Academy. His chief, who's just a real professional, is shocked beyond words. His family is totally devastated. You know, he's selfish. He's selfish and he's a criminal. He violated the law. Just think what he did, aside from the fact not caring that had the victim not been undercover, she could have been a victim of human trafficking. Or underage. Or underage. But he didn't care about his job, his community that he's worked at for almost 30 years, his beautiful wife and children. Look at all the carnage and collateral damage that he left with that horrible conduct. Sheriff Grady Judd and all his deputies worked tirelessly to put criminals behind bars. But this one, well, it hit a little too close to home. He embarrassed our entire industry with his arrest. But you know what? Here's one thing you can count on. Write this down in your little book. You come here, you violate the law, we're gonna put you in jail. We don't care who you are because you become a criminal defendant and a criminal violator of the law, we're gonna arrest you. That's just the way it is. My time with the Genesee County Sheriff's Office ghost team is always full of surprises, and this next predator is no different. After a sexually explicit online chat with who he thinks is a 15-year-old girl, 44-year-old Satinder wastes no time in trying to get comfortable in our sting house. Sorry, it's just super cold outside. Thank you. Here, look, I'm just gonna grab some mouthwash real fast, my room's upstairs. Can I use your bathroom? Um, yeah, I'm gonna come and get the mouthwash real fast. Okay. And then when I come out, you can come in. Okay. I'll be right back. He's looking antsy, but little does he know just how uncomfortable things are about to get when I walk in. Hey. Why don't you have a seat right over there on the stool? Have a seat? Yes, sir. Okay. Have a seat? Yes, sir. What are you doing here? Um, uh, I was just passing by my, I'm um, looking for directions, sir. You were passing by looking for directions? Yeah. you take your mask off? Uh, is that a problem, sir? No, take your mask off, it's fine. So I'm, I'm just giving the mask for... For what? Uh, for... I'm gonna need you to take the mask off, please. Just calm down. I've got some questions for you. Now realize that I know the answers to some of the questions before I ask them. Okay, so just take your mask off. What's your name? Sing. Hey, keep it up. What's your name? Sing. Sing. How do you spell that? S-A-N-G-H. What was your plan here tonight, Sing? I'm very frustrated, sir, so I was just 
You're very frustrated. In because what way were you the, frustrated? I'm getting laid off. Yeah, yeah, getting laid off. And what was it about getting laid off that made you frustrated enough to come to this house tonight? I'm sorry, sir. I, I don't know I would, I would, you what don't I was, know. what I was thinking, sir. You don't know what you're thinking? Yes, sir. So am, I, am I in trouble? I'll get to that in a minute. I think I know what you were thinking, sir. I think you thought that you were going to have sex with an underage girl. No, sir. No, sir. I reviewed the chats. No, sir. I know exactly what you said. Did you bring condoms? Uh, I, I didn't intend to do so, sir. I was just here to talk and then I would... Uh, you were here to talk and then just to leave? Yeah, sir. I was just here to talk is an excuse I hear almost every time. And every time, I don't believe them with a underage girl. So I, I, was, I, I have my own kids, like 15 year old, so I-, I You would have, have a 15 year old kid, a girl? A boy and a, a, boy, girl, a, and a girl. girl. I just would have counseled to talk to her to why she intended to do that. Oh, so you just came here to counsel the girl? Yeah, sir. Yeah. Are you a religious fellow, sir? Yes, sir. So you're just here to save this girl then? Yes. And where did you come in contact with this girl? What platform on social media? Uh, it was- um, it was a website. A website. Which one was it, Sam? Uh, it was, um, I think, uh, Skip the Games. Skip the Games. And why were you on Skip the Games? I, I just to go there for just to, to just... To have sex with an underage no, girl? No, sir. No, sir. But that's what you said. I'm no, on. sir. No, sir. I... You had a sexually charged conversation, Sam. Then you drive your vehicle to this house. You park and you come inside. A young girl tells you she's going to go get cleaned up no, and sir, just stay I, here. And then, then you're going to have sex. No, sir. No, sir. There were words exchanged I, here about having sex. I, I agree, sir, but I, um, I didn't intend to do that. You didn't intend to do that. Then why are you here, sir? I, why I, are you I, here? I was frustrated, sir. You were frustrated? Sexually frustrated? No, sir. My, my, with my what's going on with my counseling. I apologize. Sir. My you apologize. Opinion. What are you apologizing for? Uh, that if you're taking me that I was intending to do that. Sir. You apologize because I think you were intending to do that. Yes. Sir. Well, I know you were intending to do it because I've seen the conversation between you and this girl who told you she was underage. What am I? I mean, you can't. I, I'm sorry, sir. I, I, you're sorry. Just one big mistake. Say. Yes, sir. Just one big frustration for you because you're losing your job. Yes, sir. What if somebody who was 44 came to your house saying to meet your son or daughter? How would you feel about I, that? I would feel very bad, sir. What would you do to that person? I, I would just I'd try to understand what... what you try to understand. Is. See, now I'm trying to understand what brought I, you here, and I think you're lying to me, say. Oh, sir, I'm not lying to you. You're not lying to me. I'm told to, you know, go... Uh, leave my job. I have to, you know, that that's the reason I was frustrated. I'm well, I'm confusing because you think I'm going to believe this story that doesn't make any sense. I, I believe you. So sir. what should happen to you? I, I apologize to you, sir, and I can just leave, sir. But Singh isn't going anywhere. Well, before you leave, there's something you need to know. Sure. I'm Chris Hansen, and we're doing a story on adults who try to meet underage Oh, sir, my, my intent was not that. My intent was not there, sir. Your intent was not there. So, so uh, please forgive me, sir. Please forgive me. Uh, forgive should you. Not be, uh... He puts his mask back over his face to avoid the cameras. Have you seen these shows before that I've done? No. The Predator shows? No. I don't watch TV. Well, you're about to be on one. So this is going to ruin everything for me. Well, you made the decision to come in here, Sam. So please forgive me. I didn't forgive do anything, you. anything bad. You, well, you, you didn't do anything bad, Singh, because I walked in here no, and you didn't have a chance to have sex with an underage girl. No, 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 no sir. The only person he's going to be begging yes. for forgiveness is a judge. None of this makes sense, so you might as well tell me what you were going to do. You've got one last chance, so make it a good one. You ready? No, sir. Tell me exactly what you're gonna do. I want to counsel her that uh, I also have kids of her age, you know, then she should not be doing what she is doing. I think that's a lie, sir. No, sir. I'm gonna give you one more chance. Think about this carefully. Think about it carefully. Why were you really here? Think. 
Think. Now talk. And just to talk to her, I, you know, just to talk to her. You're not helping yourself here. The best way for you to deal with this is to tell the truth. That is the truth, sir. It's not the truth, Singh. You and I know that. It defies common sense and logic. Satinder, the so-called savior, is not doing a very good job of convincing me he didn't have other plans tonight. You did talk about having sex. You did. It's on the chat. It's a crime. You could go to prison for this. No, sir. It's the rape of a child. You understand that? I understand, that? sir. I was... I sort of got bad timing and bad place, sir. Bad timing and bad place? Yes, sir. And you expect me to believe that? Yes, sir, because I feel you, you also have kids. I do have kids. And I've also confronted hundreds and hundreds of men just like you who came to a house to try to have sex with a child. No, sir. And I've heard their stories over and over and over no, again. Sir. You know what I'm saying? They're all lies. No, sir. And we have the evidence. Have you done this before? No, sir. You've never done this before? No. So today you just decided to go on Skip the Games. What is Skip the Games and what's it for, Saying, Explain that to me. People go for massages also there. Massages? Yes, sir. Have you gone for a massage before? No, sir. I now, was... don't lie to me because I'm going to find out one I, way or the other. And I, it's not going to look good for you. So tell me the truth. No, sir. I, I was just told by my friend that these websites exist where you can, you know, go. Your friend just told you today? No, sir, yesterday. Yesterday, he told me. So just yesterday, this friend of yours said, oh, you should go to skip the games and maybe get a massage. That could relieve some tension that you're experiencing and frustration because you're being laid off. Yes, a hookup website for massages? That's a new one on me. Now, Satinder is really trying to talk his way out of this one. Is there anything else you want people to know? No, sir, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, you're sorry? Okay. Well, Singh, there's something else you need to know besides the fact that this is for a television investigation that I do okay. called Take Tom with Chris Hansen. And Satinder is not going to like what I...